NVIDIA Volta, the first 12-inch GPUs out later this year. The confrontation between NVIDIA and AMD at the turn of the 14-16th M is in favor of green. Perhaps with the release of graphics cards on chips Vega 10 and GP100 to divorce GDX 1080p competition in the high-end segment will escalate, but it doesn't change the fact that more than half of the model divorce GDX 1080, GDX 1070, GDX 1060 and remain the choice of the hardcore gamers that, in particular, is confirmed by the statistics of Steam. According to the online Fox business, NVIDIA is not a sting on its laurels and in addition to the release of the Gay Horse GDX 1080p, intends to introduce this year's first map to a class of Volta. Associated with increased use of memory, HBM2 and GDDR5X, and the transition to a new technological norm, key releases of the era of Pascal mentioned above associated with 16 nanometer process technology TSMC, and only to date models. The Gay Horse GDX 1050T and GDX 1050GP107 is based on 14nm process by Samsung. According to preliminary data, the market Volta will be the same pattern, the top card will be based on the 12nm GPU, and then Santa Clara will take a decision on the issue of the remaining crystal for 10nm process technology. 12nm TSMC norm is a development of the current 16nm technology. Thanks to the efforts of engineers Taiwanese and Neil Conductor Giants, the sizes of transistors and power consumption of chips should be significantly reduced. Mentioned 10nm process technology will also be the result of the efforts of specialists TSMC. NVIDIA can use it for most modest GPU and social. Debut video Volta will probably be a new NVIDIA Titan or Tesla Cerebur model. The older products seem to be the only one in the current year. Two game cards on chips gave Vors Volta in 2017 and the case could not be reached, although Santa Clara will try to change the schedule of the announcements, if they feel threatened by AMD. As for the possibility of release NVIDIA Volta for 7 and NM process, given the short time remaining before the first release, such a scenario is unlikely. The transition to 7 and M in the shortest terms will make sense only if it is economically justified. And it's not only the percentage yield of working chips, and their clock speed, power consumption, heat dissipation, etc. Time 7 and M technology will probably come in the middle or at the end of 2018. As can be seen from earlier posts, during the second half of next year to debut the first 7 and M product AMD. Vega 20. 